can't believe that I only ever saw the first one of these. Whoa! What's that fucking hat? Welcome to Super Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. Yeah! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today we bought a VCR and some VHS tapes, and we popped it in. What did we get? We watched porno! We checked out VHS 94. Hoot. Just hit Shutter recently, and this was from 2021. Not rated, an hour and 43 minutes long. And this is the fourth in the VHS franchise. No, it is the 94th in the VHS franchise. Oh, <laughs> man, we, we gotta get caught up. Whew. Wow. And this was uh, directed by several people. The main one would be Simon Barrett and Stephen Costanzi. Simon um, Barrett. Oh. <laughs> who we just did his movie Seance not too long ago. We did. And then uh, we did Stephen Costanzi's uh, most recent Psycho Goreman earlier this year. I like that a lot better than Seance. And then this starred uh, several people. It's an anthology. Uh, Anna Hopkins and Christian Potenza, among several others. Many, many others. So we bought that VHS. We put it in the VHR, the v VCR. You know what I meant. I know what you meant. And we went back to the 90s, to 1994 specifically, which was a great year. Because uh, we were kids, and the 90s were awesome. And what happened when we put this VHS tape in? So VHS 94 is an anthology. It's like all of the VHS movies. The wraparound is about police raiding this illegal VHS distribution facility? Something like Something that. Something like that. Yeah. Cult. They find that everyone who's watching these videos is dead. Interspersed with that is the movies. We like the 90s. So what do we like about VHS 94? Yeah. I like the stories. <clears throat> Most of them were really good. And even the ones that weren't, they're short. So, you know, you're on to the next one. Yeah, the first two stories especially are my favorite. I love the one about the Rat Man guy. And then yes! The that was great. And then The Wake, uh, which was the second one. I thought that was yep. a, a really well done, creepy ass story. I like Rat Man. I do. That was my favorite story. I'm just going to flat out say I love the idea of going down into sewers and exploring because I've done that. I thought the actual thing looked really cool and pretty scary. Uh, uh, if I would see that, I would shit my pants. Yeah. And then how they twist it around at the end where yes. she comes back and mm -hmm. oh, holy shit, that was good. Just a really neat story. Um, you know, I would agree with you that that was my favorite too. That one, it's between that one and The Wake because those are Same. the only two I can really remember. And The Wake had better sound effects and better special effects, I thought. Mm -hmm. And was shot better because most of it was stationary cams. The Ratman one was handheld cams. I mean, it was a news team, so they had shoulder-mounted cams, and it, it was a little too Blair Witchy. But I think story-wise, that one had it. Yeah, absolutely. And creep-wise, yeah. oh. So it is a found footage movie, obviously. Yeah. Which usually isn't my favorite, but I thought it was well done here. We know you love round footage. Uh, the, all of these, all of the movies are found footage, right? Yes. The first one was, I know, and yes. I haven't seen the second or third. Yep, they all play off that putting VHS tape in kind of thing. But I thought the aesthetic in this was done really well. Uh, the filters were used as necessary when needed to be. It wasn't overdone, and I appreciate that. And it has a 90s vibe to the whole thing. Like, yeah. the story has that 90s vibe, and I really dig that. I, I love it. I thought it genuinely had some creepy moments in some of the stories, especially that those first two, especially. Yeah. Uh, which it doesn't, you know, it takes a lot to really get under my skin. That freaking Rat Man one dude, creeped me out a few times. See, and for me, the the wake yeah. creeped me out more. Sure. But I think a big part of it is a ingrained response to a tornado siren. <laughs> yeah. Having grown up in tornado country, when I hear that siren, man, it instantly gets my heart going. Like, I was kind of in it already watching that one because it was like oh this is kind of you know it's super tense it's kind of claustrophobic for a big space it's still very claustrophobic yeah. and i was like this would kind of be a shitty job having to stay up with this corpse and okay and then when all of a sudden the lights start cutting out cutting in and out and that tornado siren goes off fuck i was in it yeah it i was, think that one scared me more sure yeah it, it was well done it was creepy I thought it had some great special effects, especially in that one when you do see the corpse. Yeah. And what happened to him and what's going on. I thought that was pretty neat. The way they played with the eye opening, mm -hmm. like they kept cutting back to it. And I was like, it's going to open. Oh, it's not open yet. It's going to be open. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not open yet. It's going to be open this time. Yeah. Oh, it's not open yet. And I had just got to the point where I was like, oh, 
they're going to do something different. They're not going to go that route. And then it opens. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> There's some good blood and gore throughout this. Yeah. Uh, the third one had a lot of blood yeah. and gore in it. You know, with the, the robot people. The, the guy. Oh, was, my gosh. Yeah. The Japanese one? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, a lot of... Uh, it was over the top. Over the top. Silly stuff, but the, the blood and gore looked pretty good in all of it. Makeup effects, special effects all looked really neat. There was some CGI scattered throughout, but it was sparing. And Or maybe there was a ton of it and it was just so good we couldn't tell. And that's fine, too. That could be, too. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned there there were like occasional overlay effects, you know, like static on the screen and things like that. But it was used sparingly, mm -hmm. and it was not obnoxious. Exactly, it was necessary when it needed to be, and yep. they they didn't overdo it for just to do it for you know yeah. for that sake. And these didn't feel like old movies that had been seen hundreds of times. These tapes felt like they were fresh tapes. Mm -hmm. And so maybe there'd be the occasional little hiccup or something, but not not as bad as what we've seen in some movies. Right. It's way it's overused. Yeah. Uh, and, and I appreciated that it made it feel more authentic. Well, when we put VHS tapes in and the VCR eats the tapes, we don't like that. No, fuck that. I that hate that. That pissed me off. So what do we not like about VHS 94? I was not a fan of the last two stories or the wraparound, to be honest with you. The wraparound really didn't it didn't really do much of anything. I mean, fine without the wraparound. It was dragged around. It, you know, whatever. I hated the ending. The ending to the wraparound. Yeah, I didn't like it. No, the the rest of the wraparound at least kind of worked. Sure, like it, it was unnecessary, but it kind of worked. But the ending to the wraparound was like, eh, yeah, nope. The Japanese one was over the top, silly and fun. It felt like it went on too long. It went on too long. I didn't mind that one as much. The the last one, last one, I don't remember. Terrible. What was it? It was those guys and the vampire in the shed or something. Oh, what was that? Fuck that. The they the redneck like, one. Yeah, they're like Proud Boys or something. Yeah, I, that was terrible. That one felt like it was. They were trying to make a social commentary. Yes. And, and they were like, oh, look, but these guys have existed since forever. You know, here's a video of them from the 90s. And it's like, but you just shot that this year. Yeah. So it's not like you found, like, in reality, it's not like you found this thing from the 90s showing these people. This was a brand new thing. I didn't get that story. Yeah, I didn't like it. And it I, annoyed me. I don't know. Some of the acting was bad. You kind of expect that, uh, though. And it's one of those, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it was just, mm, ugh. All right, yeah, so... It's exactly it. Uh, as an anthology, they're hit or miss uh, with the stories within. This one was half and half for me. The first two stories are phenomenal. I love uh, the sewer drain. I, I think it was called sewer drain. But with Ratman, whatever, it was, it was creepy. It was tense and a great creature, you know, thing. The Empty Wake was great. Slow, but methodically slow and creepy tense and a great ending to that the other two are throwaway as far as i'm concerned for a found footage movie i enjoyed this as a whole it was pretty fun i like this one probably more than a couple of the others in the series so um overall it's pretty average so i'm gonna go five out of eight on this one the first half of this movie was phenomenal i liked the japanese one more than you did I'm absolutely with you on the redneck Proud Boys one was garbage. Yeah. It's so tough to rate something like this because I don't want to rate it low because those first two are so good. But I don't want to rate it high because those last two aren't. <laughs> it's like the middle of the road, man. So the first half of the movie gets a four out of four. The second half of the movie gets a one out of four, making my total score a five out of eight. It's definitely worth a watch. I, I mean, it, it's, it's an entertaining movie as a whole for the most part. Yeah. Because uh, it is shot well, even those two, I mean, they're done well, just not my cup of tea. So, have you seen VHS 94? Let us know. Hit that red button bell thingy. What's your favorite VHS movie in the franchise? I thought it was blue. Is it blue? I, I don't, don't know. know. Look down there and tell just me what you see. Something else. Just do that stuff. Uh, let us know your favorite one. If you like what we're, we're doing, follow us over on the Instagram at Stupid Movies. Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. I know you love it when I say the Instagram. The Instagram. <laughs> You're an old man. I know. And you can email us at VH. Um, <laughs> You can do movies at Outlook.com. You. you know, I'm actually curious, what is your favorite VHS segment out of all four movies? Which, oh, What is no. the one short that you think is the best? Put that down below because I'm really curious. Yeah, me too. In the meantime, though, before we go, wrap your penis up in a VHS tape and take a picture and send it to Rob. <laughs> it seems like a waste of tape. And today we Whoa. went... Uh, I just wiped my nose on that. Oh! oh.